Good morning and welcome to the George W. Bush Presidential Center and to the beautiful campus of Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. I'm proud to be here with all of you today as we dedicate this beautiful building to the American people. I realize that this crap didn't start with George Bush. Yes. And unless more of us get in the street, it's not going to end. We, the people, have to hold the Bush administration accountable because the Obama administration is not holding them accountable. You know why? Because he doesn't want the next president to hold him accountable. And they're all in it together. When all the living former presidents are together, it's also a special day for our democracy. We've been called the world's most exclusive club, and we do have a pretty nice clubhouse. But the truth is, uh, our club's more like a support group. I'm here because Obama is here. I'm here because the Bushes are here. I'm here because Clinton is here. You know, these people, didn't escape office unscathed by war crimes, even Jimmy Carter. It's terrible that our society would memorialize lies. Obama administration is allowing a precedent of impunity rather than accountability. The hope will endure, and our dream will never die. Proud to be with you today. Well, the People's Response has uh, held a week-long series of events, uh, including symposiums, uh, book signing, uh, film screening, march, rally. We're having a dance party for peace uh, this evening, and uh, we're having a, a breakfast tomorrow morning. Lots of direct action, creative action. We are all here to speak for those veterans, for those soldiers, for those innocent lives that have been destroyed by these lies, by this greed, and for, to speak for our democracy that has been destroyed and corrupted. The names that we're, all meet, uh, that we're all wearing are the names of soldiers and veterans and innocent people who have been destroyed in these unjust wars, these wars that are based on lies and greed and corporate profit. My name is Zarna Joshi, and I'm from Carrollton, Texas. I believe that freedom is a gift from God and the hope of every human heart. Freedom inspired our founders and preserved our union through civil war and secured the promise of civil rights. In Congress, they are debating the use of drones over our skies, in front of our face, of whether or not they can actually use drones to kill Americans on American soil without an arrest, without even proof of evidence against them. Are you serious? Torture is a war crime. 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 My name is Hadi Jawad, H-A-D-I-J-A-W-A-D. My affiliation here locally is with the Dallas Peace Center, which is part of a coalition called the People's Response, and I'm one of the organizers for this event. Uh, we're out here because uh, there's five presidents over here, uh, a couple of blocks away from where we stand, and uh, most of them, in my opinion, are war criminals, 
should be taken before a judge and charged for war crimes and crimes against humanity. Uh, we call ourselves the greatest nation on earth. Uh, you know, what, 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 does that, what does that mean anymore, being the greatest nation on earth? Does that mean that uh, we cloak our leaders with, uh, uh, with infallibility, that our leaders, because we are the greatest nation on earth, our leaders cannot make any mistakes, cannot commit crimes, and are beyond or above the law? Uh, uh, we, need to, we need to look at that. We needed to bolster our military in order to maintain the peace. It was important to promote a culture in which each individual is responsible for his or her decisions. Any commander-in-chief ought to develop a special bond with the military, and I certainly did so. Because the toughest decision a president makes is to send men and women in harm's way. I served in the Marine Corps. Um, I, when I was discharged, I was discharged of the rank of corporal. Um, I was part of the invasion of Iraq in 2003. I was uh, supply administration operation clerk, but while in the theater of war, I drove seven tons in Humvees and I was also a machine gunner. I think little by little, uh, veterans are waking up. Um, some have already woken up, but just don't have the capacity to, to speak out against the policies. Because I am able to speak, I will stand and I'll represent those veterans that aren't able to speak, those veterans that died in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the deserts of Iraq or in the mountains of Afghanistan. I, I've, I'll speak for them and I speak for the families and let them know that I'll try the rest of my life to make sure that wars like these don't happen again. Things started to click that something wasn't right. Um, you know, they, they, they talked about on the news and talked about that, you know, we were going to be uh, greeted with American flags, that we're going to be greeted, that we're giving these people democracy. We weren't giving democracy. We were oppressing these people. We were occupying these people. And instead of receiving flags, we received stones. Rush Bush now! Rush Bush now! Rest 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 Bush now! My name is Ken Mayers. I'm from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I'm here to protest honoring this war criminal named Bush. I served in the United States Marine Corps active duty for eight and a half years. Resigned my commission and discussed with American foreign policy back in 1966, and I've been doing this sort of thing ever since. And people ask me why I'm doing this, and in a sense, it's because same reason why I joined the Marine Corps in the first place. Uh, I thought that the the country, at least in theory, represented principles that were worth defending. Uh, what I discovered was that no, we violate those principles by what we're doing. And I'm hoping that a lot of my brothers and sisters who are still, in effect, laboring under the illusion that they are serving good purposes will understand how they're being manipulated and will say, okay, I've got to go the other way. If you can muster the courage to resist while you're still in the military, please do so and we'll do everything we can to help you. If you can't, and I understand you may not be able to, then afterwards when you get out, please look us up and we'll try to help you go the right way. Uh, I'm a 82nd Airborne uh, veteran, not a war veteran, but uh, uh, still feel really strongly about, uh, about what our government's uh, doing here. Yes, I'm a Vietnam veteran, member of Vietnam, member of Veterans for Peace. They're still not taking care of our veterans. Decades of wars and not taking care of our veterans. The Bush Library, spelled L-I-E dash B-U-R-Y. Exactly. All of this built on lies. And, it's a revisionist uh, history library is what it is. Yes, it is. It is. The Bipartisan Commission came out with the report that the Iraq War is one of war crimes, that George Bush and his administrative contrived a war. That, and you can find this report by just Googling War Crimes Commission Iraq. We've got to have the courage to go out and speak out. And the way that you do that is you do it in numbers. You do it in organi organizations. The organizations that you want to go to are 
Veterans for Peace, spell it out, veteransforpeace.org. Get the information. There's lots of information there. There's statistics, there's resources for veterans who are coming back and needing help that the VA and the DOD are not giving. Uh, these people are uh, courageous. They, they take the time, they love this country. Uh, you can see their patriot, patriotism uh, on display here because they care about this country well enough, uh, enough to come out on the streets. I told President Obama that this was the latest, grandest example of the eternal struggle of former presidents to rewrite history. <laughs> and I want to take my hat off to President Bush. This is a beautiful library.